Which will be, this has been drawn earlier on today, I have no idea who is coming out first. But the first two contenders will come out, and then once one of them has been eliminated, then the next will come out, and it'll carry on like that until we are down to our last two. So ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome to you first, our first contender. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UK Wrestling Mayhem, Brett Hadley here. Once again calling the action for you and today we have a number one contenders gauntlet match to find out who is going to be the next person to challenge for the UK Wrestling Championship. Somebody has got to go the distance and if he wants it to be him it's got to be this guy, the German, the wild card, Tommy Dillon has to go through, well goodness knows how many opponents here, I'm not sure how many people are going to be in this match yet find out as we go along that it is one of the highest stakes they can get and they can get an opportunity to become the UK Wrestling Champion here live from the UK Wrestling Arena here on Mayhem tonight. Mark Card Tommy Dillon very popular with the audience here. Quite a bit of experience and that German determination almost rhymed. But who's he going to face first off here in this gauntlet match? Not sure he even knows himself yet. As our ring announcer calling out the second competitor here in this number one contenders gauntlet match. And that's familiar music to many. Tommy Dillon looks like he's just realised who he's going to be facing here. It is the former two-time UK Wrestling Champion, Ken Carlisle. Who no doubt wants another crack at the belt he held before on two occasions. He's got a wealth of experience, but no popularity with this crowd. Cayman Carlisle determined to become the number one contender. He's going to have to run the gauntlet tonight if he intends to do it again. He's first got to go through wildcard Tommy Dillon. Two competitors coming face to face in the middle of the ring. This first part is scheduled for the first person. It's a pinfall or submission and then they will be eliminated and we will call out our next contender. I swear the ring announcer then was going to say this fight is scheduled for one fall, but he didn't. Because he realised that it's not for one fall, it is until we find out who has survived the gauntlet. Is this crowd getting on the case of the former champion, Tim Carlisle, calling you a weasel here. He's going to get in the psyche, but you'd think after all the experience Tim Carlisle's had, it wouldn't really affect him. And he wouldn't really take too much notice of the crowd, but he is doing, let him getting under his skin to start here. And here we go, this gauntlet match is underway this week on UK Wrestling Mayhem. Lock up in the middle of the ring. Colin Hello tied up. Tie up even. You tried saying that, a collar and elbow tie a co I can't say it. A collar and elbow tie up, there we go. And a clean-ish break. So this commentary lot is quite difficult. People think, oh yeah, you can sit there and talk about wrestling and say what's going on. It's actually quite hard, you know. But I enjoy it a lot. And I'm glad to be back here in UK Wrestling. Well, I'll Tommy Dillon getting this crowd fired up. And again, they lock up in the middle of the ring. Him and Carlisle trying to chat for a position. And the waist lock go behind here. Reversed into an arm lock by Tommy Dillon. Both guys here are quite experienced. Side headlock by Cayman Carlisle. And wrenching on the arm. It's Tommy Dillon and both guys back to a stalemate here. Nobody really able to get an early advantage in this gauntlet. And these guys have got to be careful because as soon as they beat one another and somebody gets the decision here, somebody else is going to come out and that person's going to be fresh. They're not going to have to have uh, had a match already, so to speak. So they'll already have a decided advantage. Tommy Dillon is playing Cayman Carlisle here. 
This isn't going to go down too well, I don't think. The game with Carlisle had well enough of that. A kick straight to the gut, not wanting to play any games. His mind is focused, as it should be. You know, I don't blame him whatsoever. His mind focused on the job at hand here of becoming the number one contender. So yeah, it's an endurance battle. If you've uh, ever seen a Goldman match before, it's very rare people who start the match are there at the end. Oh, Tommy Dillon catches Kevin Carlisle and a huge atomic drop. And now another one from behind. That's going to hurt his tailbone. Kevin Carlisle in a whole world of trouble at the moment. Tommy Dillon pointing to his elbow here. Yeah, a huge uppercut in the corner. Kevin Carlisle is in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, it would be good to see who has the endurance to go all the way if either of these guys want to become a oh, huge shot to the throat, want to become the UK wrestling number one contender for the title. Irish whip was reversed by Cayman Carlisle, who catches Tommy Dillon coming in. That's a veteran manoeuvre if I ever saw one. Catches him coming in with a kick straight to the midsection. Just like that, the momentum here in this gauntlet has changed. And now Cayman Carlisle back in control, stomping away on the wild card. Gets him over the ropes. I keep saying this, it's a painful way to punish your opponent over the ropes. The rope in your throat and the knee on the back of the neck, it's very, very painful. Oh, and a huge kick right to the side of Tommy Dillon here. All the momentum that he had has been stopped. And Ken Carlisle looks quite happy to take his time. A huge straight right hand there. And Tommy Dillon literally is on the ropes in the 20 foot squared circle here at the UK Wrestling Arena. Down he goes, is that it? Bit of a lax cover there. Not gonna get him yet. Kevin Carlisle's a little bit cocky there. Needs to go for more on his covers. He thought he might have had it there. This crowd trying to get Tommy Dillon back into this match. Two shots to the midsection. Is it temporary though? Reversal and a huge clothesline. And Kevin Carlisle back in control. Down for the cover, the referee down. A two count. And a kick out. Tommy Dillon's not done yet. Not by a long way. Kevin Carlisle off the ropes. A huge boot right to the side of the head. Nothing technical. Nothing flashy. And now he's just been cocky putting the foot on the chest. And Tommy Dillon. Arrogance of the former champion is on show here. Slow and deliberate, which is not a bad strategy at all. Irish whip is reversed by Tommy Dillon here and ducks under the clothesline as Cayman Carlisle gets caught and a huge spine buster by Tommy Dillon. And now what's Tommy going to do? He's going to stay on him here and no, he doesn't. And he gets rolled up from behind. One, two, and no. A kick out. And that's what he got for wasting his time a little bit here. Tommy Dillon catches. Cayman Carlisle, what's he going to do with him? Nothing much as Cayman Carlisle manages to reverse it, but he gets caught in mid-air. What a show of strength. Came and lands on his feet, kick to the gut. He's looking for a twist of fate, doesn't work. And a huge bulldog by Tommy Dillon there. Nice sequence of reversals. Tommy Dillon down for the cover, he's a bit spent. He's a bit lax on the cover, and the foot is on the ropes. Tommy Dillon thinks he's got it, he hasn't. Came and Carlisle with ring awareness. He fits a former champion there. Tommy Dillon thought he had the victory, but Cayman Carlisle, one step ahead, knew where he was. And his foot on the bottom rope there. And now, what's Cayman Carlisle doing? Using the referee as a shield here. It's not really going to work, but that did. The referee didn't see the low blow from behind. Twist of fate by Cayman Carlisle. This is not good. And a running, shining wizard right to the face. And I think one, two, three, that low blow was enough. Tommy Dillon is out of this gauntlet. He will not on this occasion become the number one contender. But now, Cayman Carlisle has got not long to rest on his laurels here. He's got one victory down. He's got a few seconds to recover as we have somebody else waiting in the wings, so to speak, to come out here. And it is Ellis Barker who is the next competitor and who is going to be the one 
that Kevin Carlisle has to see if he wants to continue in this gauntlet and get an opportunity to be the three-time UK Wrestling Champion. Ellis Barker, very popular here with the UK Wrestling crowd. So Kevin Carlisle's had a bit of time to recover here, but he has already gone through that one match with Wildcard Tommy Dillon. Now, it's Ellis Barker to contend with. And we'll see who will move on Come. The next person in this corner, look at that. Ha, that was sneaky as uh, Kevin Carlisle tried to kick away and get an advantage as Barker was getting in the ring, but Barker sidestepped it. He was a bit too, too wary of the uh, intentions there and has now fired off. Of course, Barker is fresh. He's not already had a match already. And now heads straight into the turnbuckle. I think it's going all four corners here. What it looks like, there's three. Came and Carlisle getting spun around, and I think I know what's coming. Oh, oh, he blocked it. Clever by the UK wrestling former champion, but also gets blocked by Barker, who is the fresher man, and a huge clothesline. And a back elbow there by Barker's got some momentum here, picks up the former champion. Huge body slam in, the two are cover. Nice move. Oh, and almost got a three count there. And that, I think, is Carlisle showing the side effects of already having a match. Almost got caught out and pinned in pretty quick fashion there. Irish whip is reversed. Barker, though, jumps on the ropes, goes for a satellite DDT. And, oh, huge boot on the way back. And is that it? Has Kevin Carlisle done it? No, kick out, not even a two count yet. No, no he thinks it was... It's got a long way to go yet. Barker is fresh. Nowhere near in any way is he done here. Barker to the corner, gets a huge right hand in the corner. And out comes Carlisle in a very derogatory way, and again pushing his opponent over the ropes like he did with his last opponent there. And over the ropes goes Barker. Got to regain his composure here. He's caught up in the ropes. He doesn't want to be there whatsoever and now he's caught in a bad position by Kevin Carlisle who's clubbing away at the chest. It's got to hurt. Nowhere for Barker to go. And Carlisle back to being deliberate but gets caught with a boot to the midsection. It's back and forth action here. Both guys know what's at stake and at stake is the number one contendership for the UK Wrestling Championship. Lack of respect here. From Carlisle, although we know he doesn't respect anybody or anything, we've known that for a long time. It's Barker trying to get back in control here, but gets followed in. And a huge clothesline, the momentum is with the former champion Carlisle. He's got to stay on him here. A little bit of a lax cover again, he's got to hook the leg, he doesn't, and only gets a two count. He gets frustrated. Barker tries to get this crowd here at the UK Wrestling Arena into the match on his side. Barker gets just straight headfirst into the turnbuckle here. Don't know what Carlisle's thinking, but he's hoisted Barker up on the top rope. It's a high rent district up there, folks. Oh, he's looking for a superplex. Dangerous manoeuvre. Could go horribly wrong here for Kevin Carlisle if he's not careful. It looks like it's going to as he gets clapped on the side of the head. It's his own fault there for wasting a bit of time. Barker to the top rope. Oh, huge like transition to the middle rope and a back elbow there. But lands on Carlisle who's down a two and a half before the former champion kicks out. Nice transition there from the top rope to the middle rope to the back elbow. Barker's got to stay on him here. Don't give the, ch uh, the former champion chance to recover if he wants to move on in this gauntlet. Picking him up in the torture rack here, which Carlisle slides out of. Remember how he won that last match with a... Oh, huge inside cradle though by Barker gets a two and... Oh! Oh, that was so close. So, so close. The referee almost at three. And now looking for the twist of fate. Again, he hits it. Once more does Carlisle. Is that enough? Barker almost had it, but this might be it. Oh, no, a kick out at the last moment this time. 
same move that beat Tommy Dillon did not beat Thomas Parker here. Carlisle a bit stunned in the corner, a bit frustrated. Looking for the Shining Wizard again, misses. Gets rolled up from behind. One, two, and three. He got him. A huge tight cover there. And Parker beats the former champion. Ken Carlisle will not get the opportunity to become a three-time champion, at least yet. As he got rolled up fair and square from behind, the leverage was weird. Oh, wait a minute, from behind. Carlisle attacking Barker, he's not happy about the fact he just got pinned fair and square in the ring and now he's taking all his aggression out on the guy that is, regardless, going to move on in this gauntlet match. Throws him to the outside and this doesn't look good for Barker because as soon as he recovers or as soon as Kevin Carlisle decides he's finished, oh no, on the side of the ring, the hardest part of the ring. Got suplex right on the boards on the hardest part on the side. Barker's not out of this gauntlet. Barker is the next guy who's going to be in this. And he's getting suplexed on the outside on the uh, on the mats. Carlisle frustrated beyond belief here. He's doing a doing a hell of a, a job after the match, and now backing Barker into the steel ring post. Doesn't look good because Barker is actually the winner and has got to continue in this gauntlet. The referee can't really do much about this. Carlisle got beat fair and square with that roll up. And now Carlisle looking under the ring for something. He's got a, oh no, he's got a, a baseball bat he's got in his hand. No need for this. You lost fair and square, man. Obviously, that's not going to be good enough as he's teeing up. Oh, right to the back of the head of Parker. That, that, that's just... I'd say it's bad sportsmanship, but it's frustration. And bad sportsmanship. Well, what would you expect from somebody like Carlisle? who doesn't take losing very well whatsoever. I mean, who would? But the frustration boiling over on the former UK wrestling champion. It looks like his work is done here, but Barker is the one. He won the match. He doesn't look like much of a winner at the moment, but he did win the match. And now, he's got to continue in this gauntlet match, believe it or not. In this gauntlet match, somebody else is coming out here. And it's Alfie Rose. And Alfie Rose must love what she sees here, because Barker is down and out. And I, if I was Rogue, I'd just run over and pin the guy. Alfie Rogue's got a chance to become the number one contender here for the UK Wrestling Championship. Wasting time though and letting Barker get back to his feet. And now Rogue follows it in. Huge pose line. That could be it. Barker is down and out. Surely. One, two, and three. Just like that. Barker had no chance really after that huge post-match assault by Cayman Carlisle. He was never going to get his, his win back in his sails. One clothesline was enough to keep Parker down. And Alfie Rowe moves on relatively unscathed. Well, completely unscathed, dear. I oh, might need some help out here. I don't think we're going to get it. The only Rose is here with a microphone. has entered herself in this gauntlet match. Alfie Rogue now 
seriously does have suitable competition. And the two women going at it here, tooth and nail in the ring. A lot of bad blood here, obviously. Rogue can't let the distraction here. Got to keep going. Huge shots to the gut in the corner. And the only road suplexed. Down for the cover. And the two count. This gauntlet match still in progress here. Frustration from Rogue. Doesn't want to get too frustrated. Huge leg drop there. Huge boot right to the throat in the corner here. Remember, this is a gauntlet match for the number one contendership for the UK Wrestling Championship. There's Leonie Rhodes in the corner, a huge bulldog out the corner here. Going for the cover. And she goes, doesn't hold the leg and only gets a two count. People seem to be surprised when they don't hook legs and go for, go for, you know, consistent, strong covers. And their opponent kicks out, which is what happened here. Irish whip into the corner. Row one step ahead. Now with forearms right to the chin. He's got the only rows in the corner. Gets the referee out of the way. Comes moving in with a huge clothesline in the corner. Crowd here chanting, let's go Alfie, who does hook the leg. One, two and a kick out there. This gauntlet match rages on. Trying to get the crowd on her side. Is Alfie Rose? No, the only Rose not quite done yet. Huge side rush and leg sweep there. Down for the cover. You disrespectful, chopping away, an elbow drop there. Alfie Rogue is down, maybe out. No, no force on the cover again. Two count. Oh, and a huge, a huge drop there to the center of the ring. That could be it, Alfie Rowe could be out and almost. Frustration setting in a little bit on Leone Rose here. And not put her opponent away. Kicking her down in the corner. Now Rose with the advantage, pulling the knee guard down. Off of her boots. This is going to be painful if it hits, but it doesn't. And oh, Rose goes knee first into the bottom turnbuckle and could be hurt here. Smart by Rose. Step up in Siguri in the corner. Smart move by Rose to kick the leg there. Now Rose is in the corner, standing, waiting, poised. But she's coming out for a spear and hits the spear. A huge spear by Rose, and that two, three is it. The only Rose is out of this. And Alfie Rose earned that victory, you have to say. But now, Alfie Rose is not the winner of this gauntlet. Somebody else comes out here. Oh, and it is the heavyweight Jester J Rose. Who now has the chance to become the number one contender. Bear in mind. Alfie Rose has just gone through a bit of a war with Rose here. Jero going to use that to his advantage. And Jero with a lot of experience here in UK wrestling, been around a while now. 
this crowd firmly on the side of Alfie Rowe, who's now got to contend with some somebody completely a different style. A nice show of respect there by J-Ro. Obviously, there's no malice like there was with Leonie Rose here. J-Ro and Rogue ready to go at it as this gauntlet match rages on. J-Ro ducks out of the way, but Rogue with a clothesline and a back elbow. You used to have quite a lot of energy left. Remember, it's a gauntlet, it's endurance. Oh, but J-Ro out the, out the way and a huge drop kick into the corner of Alfie Rogue. J-Ro trying to get the crowd fired up here. Comes in it like a head of steam. A huge elbow. Now just flings Rogue off the corner. And for the bicycle kick, didn't quite work. Rogue looking for a huge boot, but finds a clothesline. And down goes J-Ro and out the ring. Alfie Rogue once again with the advantage is doing really, really well in this gauntlet match so far. Jero on the outside, and Rogue looks like he's going to give chase here. Give chase to Jero, catches are coming in, sort of coming. And now, what's Jero going to do? Hits, hits Rogue over, over the retaining barricade here, and looks like he's going to whip her into the uh, into the corner post. It doesn't work, and Jero is the one who finds the steel. Heading into steel, steel is going to win every single time. And now Alfie Rogue has got to get Jero back in the ring here. He's just had his block knocked off by by the corner post. Alfie Rogue could have advantage and go even further in this corner down to the cover only gets a two count Gerrard really just combobulated after that uh, that whip into the outside and into the corner post as Rogue comes off oh but Gerrard catches her with a huge like spinning arm drag even and now Gerrard just like that showing he's got something left and a two count before Rogue kicks out. Spirit of performance. Whether well, she wins or loses here by Alfie Rogue. We are live at the UK Wrestling Arena for this number one contenders gauntlet. The UK Wrestling Championship. Huge uppercut by J Ro there. And the crowd still seem to be on the side of Alfie, Alfie Rogue here. J Ro comes in and gets blocked. And huge, huge shots by Rogue. He's still got something left. Kicks away. j a huge, huge move in the corner. He's got him stacked up. One, two. j has to kick out quickly. He nearly got caught out there. And Rogue nearly, nearly got the Duke here. Rogue's got to be spent. He's been in there a long time now. Obviously showing quite a lot of endurance. He's looking for that spear again. He put down the only rose in the last match. She's going to hit it on J-Ro here. No, J-Ro sidesteps. Oh, Rogue goes right into the corner, into the post even. Not a good place to be. J-Ro looks for a clothesline. Doesn't work. Oh, it's, uh, it's Alfie Rogue with the clothesline of her own. Countering. Showing will and determination. Hooks the leg one. Two and a kick out by Jero. He's still alive. Now Jero trying to get his gather his senses back. Oh, with a huge shot and a huge kick. <laughs> that sends Rogue straight down. Jero has got some momentum now for that huge super kick. Looking for Rogue here, looking for that Lariat again. Doesn't quite get it. Rogue counters everything into a huge spine buster in the middle of the ring. Stacks up J-Ro. One, two, and no. A kick out of the last moment there. Huge spine buster. Arthur Rogue's showing me quite a lot here, folks. The determination to win and become a now. He's looking for the spear again. But for the spear, but doesn't quite get it, gets caught with an inside cradle. 
And that's it, Jared gets the juice. And that is it, there's no more competitors. Jero is the winner of this gauntlet and will now become the number one contender for the UK Wrestling Championship, but he did have to earn that victory. Commiserations to Alfie Rose, what a hell of a performance. And now Jero gets to become the number one contender for the title and will get a future title opportunity at some point soon. Hell of a gauntlet match this week here on UK Wrestling Mayhem. Hope you enjoy it just as much as I have here. And Jero is victorious. Alfie Rogue looking despondent but not got much to be ashamed of. An absolutely amazing performance. She picks herself up now. Jero says, you know, you gave me a hell of a fight here. And I'm grateful for it. Extends the hand and that's nice to see. Alfie Rogue and Jero with a hug at the end here. But Jero is the number one contender for the UK Wrestling Championship. Well, thanks for joining us this week on UK Wrestling Mayhem. I have been Brett Happy, I still have. I'll be back at ringside soon. Thank you for joining us. Keep watching UK Wrestling wherever you go. Jero very, very happy with his efforts. It looks intent here. He has the chance to become the next UK Wrestling Champion. Well done, that man. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. He gets met at the entrance way by the UK Wrestling Champion himself. Oh, there is Cedric. Just for the record, guess who's undefeated at the center match? <laughs> well, guess what happens as well at the center match? The Jester, <coughs> sorry. The heavyweight Jester becomes the heavyweight champion. Oh, um, Jero wanting to be champion here. Just remember, streets are meant to be broken. But to do it, he's got a monumental challenge on his hand. May the best man win. And Jonathan so there we have a new number one contender and the champion on the stage. And that'll do it for this week's edition of Mayhem. Brett Havley at ringside. We'll see you soon. Take care.